funnily enough, worked really closely with Gary and Gary's wife, Jo. So they were, they were both my client uh, and we all got on pretty well and kind of achieved a huge amount for our respective employers at the time. And that's kind of, that was kind of where the seed of should we be doing this for ourselves rather than doing it for somebody else was perhaps born. He actually got on better with my wife than I did, saying this guy is really great, really innovative and, uh, and so she really pushed it forward. So when we then started discussing around setting up a business together, and I went home and said, we've got a great idea. And she said, who are you going to do this with? I said, Mike. She said, OK, I'm in. We were sat in a hotel trying to work out what to call it, and we took our initials. Yeah. Uh, and there was, there was a bunch of us at the time kind of involved. We got some angel investment, and there was, there was a guy called Simon, there was Ian, Gary, Mike. And then the A was an and. <laughs> I remember we had him in the wrong order. It took a while to go, that could be Sigma. <laughs> yeah. I think in, hi in hindsight, now I look back and think we were braver than we thought we were being at the time. The likelihood of success was pretty small. I, when I look back on it now in an empty room with no people, far too little money to really achieve what we were. Our, time, our timing was good and you know, Gary was able to go and attract clients that we probably didn't deserve at the time and, and we did a decent job for those clients. Uh, you know, through the process we also had completely uh, sort of taking a reverse step, as Mike said, from DCA and debt purchase. Our debt purchase funder had, uh, had withdrawn from the market, so we were looking for a new owner, as it were, to help us transition completely into BPO. And again, like we did in the first uh, initial stages, to find uh, an investor for the DCA debt buyer, we put together an investment memorandum and we went back out to market. So it was the second time we'd done it in, in five years. Um, and you know we went and spoke to quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of potential investors, including some of the big debt buyers and including some of the big BPOs. Um, but you know through fate, we ended up with Digical, or they ended up with us, should I say? Um, and it was absolutely brilliant because what that gave us was South Africa, um, and you know they, it really did change you know the whole evolution of where Sigma was. We were suddenly in the major leagues, playing with the major players and winning. We want to grow and grow successfully, but we just want to be a bigger Sigma. We want to keep that culture and that, keep that family feel and that entrepreneurial spirit and that, you know, that everyone matters within our business, you know, nothing above us, nothing below us type mentality. I set a fairly lofty ambition of being the best BPO in the world. And, <laughs> Is that uh, lofty? Yeah, it's lofty-ish. <laughs> but, but it's not done with any specific measure. It's not the most people or the most money or the most anything it's just being being the best it's a, it's a slightly untouchable aspiration but i sort of think like i sort of feel like if we hold ourselves to that standard that's that's a good that's a good aspiration and every day we're getting closer and for, for me the future will, will, will i'm relatively relaxed that gary and ben and the guys will help us to get scale and we'll go into new jurisdictions for me it's keeping us honest and keeping us grounded and making sure that as we grow we don't lose any of that stuff.